Welcome back to Cosmic Journeys. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating explorations of the universe. Something unusual is occurring in the early universe, leaving scientists baffled as their theories fail to account for these mysteries. Thousands of odd objects are being detected in deep field images, but their exact nature remains unknown. Recently, astronomers identified many peculiar objects from the early universe, noting that these are unlike any early galaxies we know. Moreover, the James Webb Telescope has peered beyond the Dark Ages for the first time, and its findings have amazed astronomers. Most scientists agree that the universe began about 13.8 billion years ago. However, the strange structures revealed in these images challenge this timeline and could lead to major shifts in our understanding of cosmology. In light of these groundbreaking observations, several Nobel laureates suggest that the early universe might be vastly different from what we previously thought. Some even propose the radical idea that the universe may not have had a beginning at all. Instead, they speculate that what we perceive as the distant early universe might actually be something entirely unknown. So, what did the James Webb Telescope discover at the very edge of our universe, and why do scientists believe these findings could transform our understanding? Since 1929, we've known that galaxies in the universe are moving away from each other due to the expansion of space. This expansion, however, is more complex than it appears. It lacks a central point, meaning that from any vantage point in the universe, it seems as if everything is moving away from you, as if each location is the universe's center. Additionally, scientists have found that not only is space expanding, but it is doing so at an accelerating rate, causing distant galaxies to move away from us faster than those closer to us. Assuming Earth is our reference point, when you use the Webb telescope to look deep into space, you will observe that everything appears to be moving away from Earth. The farther a galaxy is, the faster it recedes. In specific regions of space, some distant galaxies are moving away from us at the speed of light. This region is known as the Hubble Sphere. Galaxies beyond this sphere are receding faster than the speed of light. Common sense would suggest we could never see light from these galaxies because it's moving away from us faster than the speed of light. Surprisingly, this isn't the case. We can still observe galaxies beyond the Hubble Sphere because the sphere itself is expanding due to the accelerating expansion of space. As this region grows, it brings more distant galaxies into view, even those receding faster than the speed of light. There is a limit to how far we can see into the universe, defined as the observable universe, which spans about 92 billion light years across. At the edge of this region, we observe the cosmic microwave background radiation, which represents a view into the distant past of our universe. For example, the most distant galaxy discovered by the Webb Telescope, Jade's GSZ-130, lies within this observable universe. When we observe this galaxy, we're seeing it as it was when the universe was only 290 million years old. Currently, this galaxy has moved beyond the observable universe, and we can no longer discern its present state because the light from it will never reach us. Its material has long since evolved into other stars or galaxies. The universe extends beyond the observable universe, containing countless more galaxies and stars, reaching towards infinity. The boundary of the observable universe is specific to Earth and would differ for other potential life forms elsewhere. According to our standard cosmological model, about 14 billion years ago, the observable universe and everything beyond it would have been compressed into a singularity, a tiny infinite point. However, if the universe is indeed infinite as it seems, it has always been infinite. This implies that the Big Bang occurred everywhere, not in a specific location. Consequently, the first galaxies did not form in any particular region but appeared throughout the entire universe, including beyond our observable limits. The cosmic microwave background radiation we see is the earliest light from matter emerging from all directions in the universe. Our theories about the universe's size and origins are being seriously challenged by new discoveries from the James Webb Telescope. Traditionally, when the Webb Telescope observes deep into the universe, 
it should detect the first stars and galaxies at the edge. However, recent observations revealed many strange bright objects that do not appear to be early galaxies. Despite extensive efforts, scientists have yet to understand these anomalies. A recent study published in the Astrophysical Journal identified 87 galaxies that might have existed just 200 to 400 million years after the Big Bang. This finding stunned scientists because current theories suggest the universe shouldn't have been capable of forming so many galaxies so quickly. Hao Jing Yan, an astronomer and one of the study's authors, noted that confirming even a few of these galaxies would require us to reconsider our understanding of early galaxy formation. The image of a particularly intriguing early galaxy challenges our current knowledge. Normally, galaxies consist of gas and dust orbiting a central point, crucial for star formation. Observations typically show that only about 10% of a galaxy's gas turns into stars. Yet, the Webb telescope identified three early galaxies that have converted 100% of their surrounding material into stars. This discovery contradicts our cosmological models, which suggest it's impossible for a galaxy to turn all its available material into stars. These unexpected findings are causing significant confusion among astronomers. They are questioning how these galaxies could have formed so early and why they appear so different from predictions. Some scientists propose that these objects might not be galaxies at all but something entirely unknown. If these are indeed galaxies, it would imply that the Big Bang model is fundamentally flawed.